Hello TACX.net users, my name is Rob. Today I'm going to show you how to use TACTest. TACTest is a TACX Plus client that you can use to test TACX requests and responses and for performance testing. You can use TACTest to test TACX.net or any other protocol compliant TACX server. TACTest is free to download on our website at www.tacx.net. With many built-in features and options, it provides a wide range of capabilities to test, debug, and qualify TACX servers. You can do a complete installation with our TACX.NET server, or you can choose to just install TACTest. In this demonstration, I'll run TACTest on a TACX.NET server in our lab environment. Let's take a quick look at our configuration before we begin the test. To keep things simple, we'll use the loopback address as the TACX server. In the authentication file, we'll use user1 from the local TACX server and user test from Windows Active Directory. User1 will be assigned into authorization group read-write and allowed to use any command. User tests will be put into group read only and can only run show commands. You can run TAC tests from the start menu or from the command line. To get a list of command options and some examples, you can type TAC test dash question mark. TAC test is used to test for authentication, authorization, and accounting. To test for authentication, the common syntax includes the IP address, shared secret, username, and password. Let's test with the user1 credential. You can determine if there's any problem with your credential or system by reading the command output. The output is identical to what you would find in the debug log. On the next example, I'll test TACX server performance by using the C argument to send a thousand requests to the server. This time, I'll run TACTest from a script file. TACTest supports automation. Instead of typing single commands, we can create script files to save time and avoid typos. Again, by reading the output, you're able to evaluate your TACX server performance. For authorization, you can use TACTest to validate the authorization profile's configuration. The command syntax is similar to authentication, except we don't need to specify a password. Let's test user1 with the command configure terminal. According to the output, user1 is authorized to run the configure terminal command. Let's do it again with account test, which can only run show commands. The output message tells us the configure terminal command is not authorized for this user. Now we'll test with the show command. As we can see here, the account name test can run show commands but is not authorized to run configure terminal. We can also run TAC test to evaluate TACX server accounting. The command syntax is similar to authorization. In this example, I'll use user1 with these attributes. These are the number of bytes transferred between the client and server.
By looking at the output, we know that accounting is working properly. These are some examples of TAC test commands with common arguments. Other than that, there are other flags available to use. You can define authentication type, send how many requests per test, send repeatedly for this many seconds, send this many requests per second. You can input a scripting file using dash f file name. You can output the result of a command by using the greater than sign to redirect output to a file. By using TAC test, you can test, debug, and evaluate your TACX server. And that's it for TAC test. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.